what's up everybody um, I wanted to come on here today well actually that's a lie I, I didn't want to do this video today because I'm not really in the mood to do it but I figured this is probably the best time to do this because today is inauguration day January 20th 2021 and um, and I just I just wanted to say things from the heart basically and and also for myself so I'll kind of have a reminder of of you know what I was feeling today, what probably half the country is feeling today. Um, I know I'll probably get a lot of backlash from this, and that's okay because you know I don't expect everybody to agree with my opinion, and you know that that's fine. But uh, you know I started thinking a while back when I I mean I knew there was not a chance for President Trump to you know be able to prove voter fraud, even though there was proof and that's my opinion but you know not um not to the extent that would have overturned the election or anything and so once i kind of came to terms with you know all right this is just the way things are gonna go i'm just gonna have to deal with it but i started asking myself you know what what is it about him meaning trump and his supporters that that makes us so sad and it really comes down to what he represented to so many people like at the core um i he brought about a movement um for people to really start thinking about what is it about this country that what qualities about the country you know do you currently like love and want to hold on to you know um just those those God-given constitutional rights that we so take for granted, you know? And um, and also, for me personally, it really woke up my relationship with God. Now, and now let me explain. I mean, I'm, I'm a Christian. I, I feel like I've been a, um, a Christian majority of my life, you know, probably since I was 11 years old is when I consider myself being saved. But, you know, I've definitely had my ups and downs with my relationship with Christ and God and, you know, not putting them or him first. Um, I think we're, we're all guilty of that at, at some points, but and I, I can't explain it. I, I just think Trump, um, to me, in my opinion, he was put in that position for a reason. And I think a lot of it was, that was God's plan to wake people up, to, to remind people you know, values, just basic values, like what it, what our country was originally founded upon that it, that is, we can't, it's so hard to find now, you know, um, just this politically correct movement, where, you know, we're going to offend somebody by saying the Pledge of Allegiance or saying a prayer when that's what this country was founded upon. You know, we, we can't forget those core values. And I just feel like he really woke that up inside of me. And I knew I was conservative. I knew, you know, the, the basic values of what being Republican stood for. But I, I mean, I even voted for both of the Bushes. And I liked them at the time. I'm not saying I'm too fond of them at the moment. But, you know, looking back. But um, it's just like... Trump, even though he is far from being like an emotional, touchy-feely type person, and in fact, he's probably far from it in a way, but he was able to wake up those feelings inside me, and I think in so many others. I, I go back four years ago in 2016 when he won and how um, the extreme liberals were very, very upset of, of Trump winning, and I couldn't understand them being so upset. Like, the hysterical crying, the name calling, the temper tantrums. I mean, I was just like, what is going on? We, you haven't even given this guy a chance, you know? And when I look back at that, I, you know, I'm like, and I'm not trying to, to not to validate their emotions because I know those people that were anti, were never Trumpers that, that hated Trump. I, I get it. I mean, I recognize that those feelings were valid, but I, I never understood it. And I never understood like where that hatred came from. And it, to me, it, it was really based on all lies on what 
the media told us, what, I mean, there was never any proof to what they were saying, you know, him being a white supremacist, him being racist, him being anti-woman, I, I mean, like, none of that stuff was true, and I was like, okay, well, so maybe if they blew that for now, maybe as time goes on, they'll kind of change their tunes and wake up. And a lot of them did because there there was a huge walk away movement that um, that a lot of people did walk away from the the radical left and came over to you know either the middle or the right. And but um, there's still so many that haven't, and they still have these beliefs in their mind, even though there's proof. I mean, concrete proof proving otherwise that Trump is not that way, that he's not racist, he's not homophobic, he's not a white supremacist, you know, and all this stuff. And, I, you know, I it just, it makes me laugh. It's like, have these people not seen the proof or are they just ignoring it or are, do they, I don't know. It's It's so crazy to me. But like now, fast forward to where we are now and, 2020 and now in 2021 you know you talk to people that are upset about Trump losing and it's um I don't I don't see the hysteria like I did in 2016 first of all but there is a deep sadness there is a deep like at least the people I've talked to a deep sadness you know to the core just like in your gut like oh my gosh that you know that 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 leader that had brought so many people to to terms with, you know, and towards the we the people and America first type attitude and mission, um, we're, yeah, we're sad. And, but I feel like, and again, this is my opinion, I feel like we have reason to, to be upset because once again, we have the proof to substantiate, you know, this is what he did. This is how he bettered people. Now, was Trump perfect? No, ab absolutely not. I'm, I'm not, trust me. I mean, there was many remarks he made. I mean, I always loved his remarks, but um, he, you know, he was blunt. He, but he wasn't a liar. He, what he didn't, there was no hate in him. There was, I don't, I don't know. It's, it just, it's so weird. So. Um, I don't know. That that's just my opinion of why Trump supporters that you know are are, are the, yeah we're upset and I think we have a right to be so. Now with that being said, I wish the Biden administration all the ex, all the success in the world. I really do because wishing anything otherwise is detrimental to our country. You know, I mean we have to. One thing I will agree with was is that we need to unify, but the unity they speak of is so far is kind of a joke because they were never willing to do that with with us, never. And you know now to just with a snap of a finger wanting us to have like ooh kumbaya this unity. I mean it's like you're kidding me, right? Because I personally have never seen much more unity than I did with other Trump supporters. I mean, I mean th that movement, that patriot movement that he created, that was unity. And that's not saying we're not open to, to extend that unity to others, but you know, you can't be acting crazy and all radical to, to you know, that's not what's gonna do it. Um, so, but I, I do wish the, the Biden um, administration success because I want our company, our company, I want this country to succeed. You know, I don't, I don't want to move to socialism. I want to keep those God-given values that this country was based upon. I want to keep that integrity, America first agenda. I don't, I don't want to sell out to China. I don't want to push, um, companies and stuff into other countries again. I mean, we made so much progress. I just feel like all of that is, go I hope, okay, let me rephrase. I hope all of that is not destroyed because I really feel like we came so far and I just, I just don't want to go backwards. And I think that's what so many people are concerned about. So anyway, um, I know, you know, Biden supporters that are are watching this, I'm going to receive backlash and I, I get it. I respect your opinion, but I just, I want you to understand kind of where we're coming from and why this 
it's just like a stab in the heart because that patriotic movement, I don't know, it, it was something else. It, it woke me up and it woke a lot of people up. So, but, but anyway, I hope we can all move on from here. I wish everybody success. I hope we can get over this freaking COVID crap. I know everybody's sick of it. They're just ready to get back to normal and, um, Let's do it, but uh, I hope this was somewhat informative to some of you, especially those that don't understand, you know, the sorrow from Trump supporters. Maybe it helps you make it, made a little more, more sense of it, but thanks for watching, and I hope to see you soon. Bye.